participate today and hopefully we can raise some money. Dial 877-738-1234. Help us strike out cancer. This is my fight. Back here at Fenway Park, we are up close to $2.3 million, but we need you to get to those phones right now. This hour of the um, Jimmy Fun Radio Telephone is being brought to you by New England Fat Loss. Lou and I have both been over there, and we've dropped a little bit of weight, and they have stepped to the plate as well here today and generously matched all the gifts that are made between 12 and 1 o'clock up to five grand. So if you want to help strike out cancer, you want to see the gift go twice as far, call us right now, 877-738-1234, or you can go online to jimmyfund.org. And remember, New England Fat Loss is going to match that. Or... Or, come on, you can do it. You do it or no, no, you, you can it text. You Christian, you do, you Christian what can you, you text? Well. You can text K Cancer to 2022. <laughs> oh, yeah, two. And that's uh, to donate 25 bucks, and that's brought to you by AT&T. Huh? He does, you know, he does serve a purpose. I'm going to let you do that next he, time. He makes the, he makes the kids laugh. i got to give it what? to him. He does make Patch the kids Adams laugh. Adams over here. Now, I don't know if they're laughing with him or laughing at him. There's people out there texting. I'm like, how many freaking twos? How many twos? <laughs> We want, <laughs> we want you to meet the Coster family. Uh, they are from Reading. Uh, this is Kyle Coster. He's nine years old. Great to see you, buddy. Hi. How are you today? Good. Good. It's great to see you at Fenway Park. Now, you've been on the field before, right? Yeah. You're oh. at least one person in the studio that's been on the field. Yeah, you got more hits than I did. <laughs> <laughs> so we were talking about BP, 14 swings. Uh, Mom, Beautiful. Mom, Melissa, Dad, Michael, and brothers Aiden and Trevor are both here. So we're going to start with you, Melissa. So Kyle's an athlete. He... Uh, Played baseball, played other sports, and then suddenly you noticed that something was wrong. How old was he at the time? Yeah, so Kyle was eight, um, and he started experiencing back pain. And then that was followed by um, – the back pain was on and off through the summer. Um, it was like a nagging injury, and we had had an examined a few times at urgent care, and then he was x-rayed at the emergency room. Um, but he started to get – in October of last year, he started to get kind of pale – I remember at one point he had gone to a sleepover and a friend of mine had texted me um, that his head hit the pillow and he went to sleep in like two minutes. And I was like, oh, something's really wrong here. Um, so we just, it was, you know, parent intuition. We started to really, family stepped in and was able to see, you know, he's very close to his grandfather, my father-in-law, and he had pulled my husband aside and just said, you know, he's not skating like he used to. So something's really, Mike, it's time to, like, figure out what's going on. So the next day I took him to the pediatrician, uh, Dr. Nino, who's amazing. And he knew right away. He sent us into Boston Children's. And here we are. And um, it's been an amazing journey. And he's tolerating treatments really well. I'm so proud of him. He's a strong kid. No family wants to have to go through this. But... Um, we have God on our side, right, Kyle? We say our prayers together every night, and um, we're doing it. We're getting there. Mm-hmm. And so he's cancer-free right now? He's been cancer-free oh, okay. since the second oh. week of um, induction. So awesome. thank you, Lord. Oh, yeah. awesome. So, so Kyle, how is it when you go over to dana Farber? What's it like? Um, I like it. Um, I like playing video games and yeah. stuff. What's your favorite video game? Um. Mario, probably. Mario. Ah, yeah. <laughs> but they make it they make it really easy and you know, and they make it, they, they make sure your brothers, you know, can come over there and hang out yeah. with you. But it's not all it, you, it's not something that you dread going to, correct? I mean, you know why you're going there, but yet yeah. you still kinda look forward to playing video games. Yeah, a little bit, yeah. yeah. So he has ALL, Michael, right? Which is a blood cancer. Yeah, correct? it's um acute lymphoblastic leukemia. Right. It's uh, a blood cancer. Um, they're very successful with it, you know, obviously through research and through places like the Jimmy fund and and these types of events, um, you know, they've raised the success. It's through the roof right now. They're very, uh, we were told that early on and that was, uh, that was a really big deal to us that, um, you know, there was never a doubt. They've told us, you know, they're going to get this and, and that's it. And, as a family, we've taken it on that way. We've looked at it that way, and I know Kyle. I mean, he just every day proves how tough he is to us, and and ultimately, yeah, the Jimmy Fund. I mean, it, there's no place like it. I mean, he really does. 
as hard as it is to go there, he really does somewhat look forward to it. It's a know? happy place. I, I know a lot of people probably think it's it's tough because you're dealing with kids who are sick, but it really is a happy place. The kids yeah. get to bond with other kids that are going through similar situations. Right. How do you? How, how did you guys explain it? The situation to the other two sons, Trevor and, and Aiden. Yeah, Aiden, Trevor. Um, I mean. I think Trevor it was a little – he still is still trying to grasp what's going on, but Aiden kind of understood early on. I mean, it was hard. It's, it's definitely a family thing. I mean, it's, it's, it's hard on everybody, but uh, we are a strong family, and, you know, we stick together in everything we do. And, and actually, you know, this, this, this has made us stronger. Honestly, yeah, and really people is. like Lisa Sherber. I mean, when we yes. went to the clinic, when we started the clinic, here's this happy, bubbly lady coming over with a smile right, on her face. And I'm great. like, who is this lady? <laughs> like, yeah, you know, best. and she just ended up being like such a big part of our life. And now I look forward to seeing Lisa because um, on those days when it was hard to be there, Kyle loves Lisa, too. She just would make Kyle laugh or come with some amazing surprise like you're going to meet Patrice Berger on this weekend and I mean that just doesn't that's never gonna happen again in our life that's amazing so um and the nurses the doctors our team the social workers um they're there for you every step of the way so um we're very grateful and thankful yeah you know and and when you us locally too driving around people listening now donating like you guys are local you know, yeah. Dana Farber yeah. is right here. And we've talked to a lot of families that maybe out in the West Coast had found it. They had to move and their whole families. Like sometimes you – cancer hits everybody, right, every single family. And, yeah. and to be having knowing that Dana Farber is right there, right around the ca- corner from all of us. I mean, that's a good feeling to have, Absolutely. right? I mean, this right. is something you guys can still – Still stay in your home while dealing with this. Absolutely. Yeah. Oh, we're grateful every day for yeah. that. Every day we're grateful for the, for the proximity of yeah. where it's located. It's incredible. It really is. I mean, it's We are it's lucky. Amazing. We're lucky that yep. we have such close proximity to the general you know, fund. It's not only the care to the patient, but you were just talking about the social workers. So your entire family, you've got two other sons. You're all going through this. A lot of attention is being geared toward him. And, and tell me what they do when, when they sit down and talk to you, because we've had a lot of parents tell us that they kind of walk them through what to expect. Well, so this is a part that everybody might not understand unless they're going through it, is that when Kyle was in the hospital for 30 days, we still had to go home to other, other, other two kids. Um, and that was tough. We had to make that work. We had family helping, but um, they didn't completely understand what was going on. And so when we started attending the clinic, we had Judy August, our social worker, who unfortunately is retiring. <laughs> we are like, what are we going to do? But she was there. We were there twice a week, and she was there every time we came in in the morning. And if Mike and I were stressed out or we had, like, a disagreement or something, there was Judy, our angel, in front of us to just be able to help us facilitate the best way to work through this. And it's not, you know, rocket science, but it's just things that when you have all the stress going on, you Mm. just can't get there on your own. So where do we go from here with Kyle? He's cancer-free. Where do we go? So he has um, a year and three months. He's nine months into treatment. His his plan is a two-year plan. Um, He just moved into maintenance, it's called, the last year and three months. He will get chemo for that year and three months. He has a port in his chest. That will remain until the very end. But looking on the bright side, um, he seems to be getting stronger every day. And, uh, you know, the the medicine does make him sick at times. But, uh, you know, for the most part, he seems to be pushing through and tolerating things well. And, you know, he had a little – he was allergic to one of the medications early on in treatment. And um, they had to do these shots into his legs. And thankfully, those have ended. Thankfully, there was uh, 60 rounds of shots into his legs. And again, being an athlete, trying to keep up with his brothers, it's been trying for him. His legs have been, you know, very wobbly, but they seem to be getting stronger. And we know, Kyle, how he is. He's not going to let it keep him down. Kyle, he back won't. to playing? Playing sports? <laughs> huh? <laughs> Wolf, I hear wiffle ball a lot in the backyard. Yeah. No, Aiden, you don't try to strike him out all the time, do you? you <laughs> yes, throw a couple down the middle? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, Aiden gives him no break. No break. <laughs> Feel good? Yeah. Good job. Listen, uh, it's great. Everything seemed to work out for you guys, and we're really happy for you. And thanks for sharing your story. We oh. really appreciate it. Hopefully people will listen and understand that this is what happens over at Dana Farber. Right. They're, uh, they're amazing. I mean. They're the best. Yeah, give if you can. Um, you know, they, 
they're making huge strides, huge strides. Something that Kyle has right now was almost uncurable 25, 30 years ago, and he's gonna, you know, he's coming out as a success story because of a place like the Jimmy Fund. So, you know, we thank them every day. Kyle, great meeting you, buddy. Great meeting you, mean you, brothers, whole family. family. Great. Thank you. Thank you. A lot you of guys. smiles. Lot Enjoy of smiles. tonight. Thanks. It's really good to see. A lot of smiles. All right, we need you to get to the phones right now at 877-738-1234 so we can have more smiles like this from a family.